Carter as Fiat Sully works his way back to Connor Devlin under pressure. Here's Connolly. Tipton. Squares a nice ball over onto Porter Downs' right. Ball over the top, doesn't quite reach, but there's a goalkeeping error. Porter Down find themselves in possession, and that's an early goal. Big mistake from Lauren at the back, and the visitors are 1 0 up. Just five minutes into this one. I said in the pre match, you know, I fully expected Porter Down to come here and have a go, and they've started the game fantastically well. Take another look at that. It's an awkward bounce on the edge of the box and uh, attempt at a defensive header from, I think, Graham Kelly, which evades Connor Devlin. And it's uh, very little. Here's McDade. Lauren on the charge. Now he spreads the play to the left. Donnelly. Donnelly's going to play it in towards the near post, looking for McDade again. Randall once again finds himself in space. Hits a shot. Motley Henry! Lawrence new sign and makes it 1-1. A matter of minutes after the visitors edge themselves into the lead. Lauren have been threatening the box for uh, for a couple of minutes now. Michael will take another look at that. Mark Randall once again finding himself in all kinds of space. Gets a shot away. And all that there is for Motley Henry to do off the goalkeeper's parry really is to... Nicely chested down by Fiat Sule there, under pressure. Here's Kelly. Sule again. Cosgrove continues to find himself in quite a lot of space on the right-hand side. Here's Motley Henry. Lovely one-two between Motley Henry and Mark Randall. As Motley Henry drives into the box, he's put under pressure. Ball across the front, a goal! And Ronan Hill, the substitute, has put Lauren 2-1 up. Yeah, it's a great move. Uh, it's a fantastic move, and obviously Motley Henry's been well involved in the game. Um, it's two or three times he's got in, lifted his head, and, and tried to pick some out. This time he was successful, and what a start from Hale. I don't, I don't remember having too many other touches apart from this one. What a lovely piece of interplay between Randall and, uh, and Motley Henry here, causing all kinds of problems. Portadown did their best to track back and to close that one. You can see that, and that's why he's in the Portadown team at every available opportunity. Ball into the middle from Marty Donnelly to Motley Henry, who nods it down just outside the post. Portadown have got lucky there. Take yeah, another look at that. We talked about Greg, and obviously, he, you know, he got caught out of, out of position because he was trying to go forward. Left that little gap for Marty. Great ball in. Devlin goes long. He'll still in the hunt up there among the back four. Well done by Connor McKendry to lay that out right into the path of Marty Donnelly, who finds McKendry again. McKendry drives towards the box, unleashes a shot wide to the right. Ball in awkwardly. And believe it or not, there's the equaliser. The substitute, Lee Bonus, has equalised for the visitors in the 88th minute of this. And Michael, will Connor Devlin be disappointed with that? Yeah, well, he'll be horrified. I mean, Connor is one of the most experienced goalkeepers in, in the league. And if you're going to come, you've got to come and deal with it. He knows that. You know, I know that as well. And it's almost like the Porter Down Bench are screaming for a handball. I, I, I didn't see it myself. We're in the wrong side here. But. There's a Good little little tug on the shirt in the box. I'm not sure if I saw a handball. But nevertheless, the referee has blown the final whistle at this one. And a late shocker, just as the, the first goal for Portadown shocked Larne. A late equaliser from an awkward ball into the box.